Today I'm going to be covering uh, the short story collection from Imaginary Authors. Stick around. First of all, I want to uh, say thank you to Crystal Fragrance for having this available on her website. This is one that I had picked up from her um, quite a while ago now, um, and I've been able to give them all uh, a good um, trial period and really get to experience them and, and experience what uh, Imaginary Authors has created. So I don't have the full line. I think there's about six, maybe five or six fragrances um, beyond these that, that I haven't gotten to sample yet but I can tell you from sampling these, I really look forward to doing so. So first up, we're gonna talk about um, one of my favorites, which is uh, Cape Heartache. Now, uh, Cape Heartache is a very interesting fragrance. I think um, I get a, um, and actually I wanna spray a little bit here. Um, I get like a storm in the Pacific Northwest. I, I don't know why, but I get this vibe to this fragrance. And I think it's um, probably because of these notes. So um, perfume notes are listed as Douglas fir, pine resin, western hemlock, which I'm not familiar with, um, vanilla, vanilla leaf, strawberry, and then imaginary notes that are listed as uh, old growth and mountain fog. <sighs> Cape Heartache is so, so good. The, the, the fir and the pine resin are very much apparent. Um, right off the bat. You also get the strawberry, which is really hard to describe. Um, it's not like a candy note of strawberry, and it's not necessarily an entirely natural uh, note of strawberry. It's really an interesting um, um, note in this breakdown. Um, the vanilla leaf, I think it comes in in the uh, mid and dry down. And as I said, I'm not familiar with what hemlock is, so I don't really know what I'm smelling there. Um, but the um, interesting thing of all of the imaginary authors line is that their imaginary notes that are listed, in this case, I want to say old growth and mountain fog. Um, oddly enough, you do get that vibe from all of these fragrances. So uh, you'll see that as we go on, um, I'll, I'll be uh, reading off the uh, notes here on my phone um, to and trying to explain those as best as I can but those uh, like I said those vibes a hundred percent come through in all of these fragrances so that's Cape Heartache I totally recommend it so a city on fire uh, notes in this one are Cade oil spike nerd uh, cardamom clearwood dark berries labdanum and burnt match. Gosh, I have dropped everything in every video I've filmed tonight. So. The City on Fire. There has never been a more accurate name for a fragrance. How, and I apologize, I cannot remember the perfumer and owner of Imaginary Authors, how they capture the smell of a lit of literally a burning building in a bottle i don't understand it unreal unbelievable um while i'm not a huge fan of wearing this uh i have so much appreciation for any company that can do something like they've done with the city on fire to be able to be the most accurate description in the naming of the fragrance is is super impressive to me. Um, I won't be spraying this one on. I'm not a huge fan of the uh, burnt match uh, smell or that burning smell, um, while I do appreciate it a lot. So, uh, a city on fire. Next one we'll be talking about is um, O Unknown. So the notes in O Unknown are uh, black tea. I'm sure I'm gonna butcher this one. Lapsang Suchong Tincture, Oris Butter, Kyoto moss, moss, musk balsam, and sandalwood, and the imaginary note of triple question mark. So, O Unknown to me um, is, again, the, the, the naming with their fragrances is, is uh, spot on. The um, vibe that I get from O Unknown is I get the tea, I get this darkness, um, 
while still maintaining uh, good longevity and not something that is annoying. I think the 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 notes here, um, while I'm not familiar with uh, the Lapsang Su Chong tincture, um, I think that I do get um, a bit of an an irisy vibe, but not like in the makeup way. Um, very well done fragrance. I definitely get the moss uh, vibe and I get the balsam. Um, really, really interesting one. I would say this is in my top five of what I've got here um, and one that I would recommend to you as well. The next fragrance we're gonna be talking about is Yesterday Haze. Now Yesterday Haze has notes listed as fig, iris, cream, tonka, tree bark, walnut bitters, and the imaginary note of um, uh, orchard dust. Now, yesterday is an interesting one to me. Um, what the vibe that I get and in notes aside, the vibe that I get from this is almost like an old book, um, in a dusty library. Um, super, super interesting fragrance. Uh, one of the guys that, uh, I follow and, uh, is subscribed to me, uh, Sci Guy Frags, he is the guy that sent me this, but he is a huge fan of um, Yesterday Haze. And uh, while I'm a, I'm, I'm a big fan of it, um, there are others that I think are, are higher in the list uh, for me. But again, as with all of their fragrances, super impressed by what they're able to deliver. And Imaginary Authors has this way of Delivering fragrances that make you think, that make you um, really kind of go to a place, which is super interesting. Um, there are a few fragrance companies that I think do a very good job of this. Uh, Imaginary Authors being one of the best ones uh, on the market, if not the best one of taking you to that story, taking you to that vibe. Um, so bang on job with uh, Yesterday Haze. Next up, we're gonna talk about uh, St. Julep. St. Julep has notes listed of um, mint, uh, tangerine, southern magnolia, bourbon, grisalva, sugar cube, and crushed ice as the imaginary note. To me, St. Julep is probably my favorite of the line. Um, absolutely gorgeous. The main players in this to me are the mint and the sugar. Um, I think both of those really stand out. I don't get so much of the magnolia um, or the bourbon or any of those other things, but um, I really get those two, the mint and the sugar. And the mint in this is top notch. And I look forward to uh, picking up a bottle of this one in the future. So, uh, St. Julep, and uh, I recommend it if you um, want to smell a very interesting mint, uh, very realistic mint. It smells um, just like you just crushed up a, a fresh leaf of mint. So, St. Julep. Next in the uh, short story collection that we'll be going over is Slow Explosions. Now, Slow Explosions has um, notes listed of saffron, rose absolute, leather, apple, benzoin, cashmere, marin, um, arpura, night market as the imaginary note. Slow Explosions is absolutely beautiful. The rose and the leather that I get from this are just top notch. Um, I think they did a very, very good job of uh, blending this fragrance. On the initial spray, I get that rose and I get the leather. And then after that, I start to get the um, apple note. Um, I don't pick up much of the saffron, but uh, my, my nose may not be um, quite good enough to pick that up. And then the resinous vibe comes in uh, in the dry down. Absolutely gorgeous fragrance, slow explosions. So next in the uh, collection here, we're gonna review um, Every Storm a Serenade. Now, Every Storm a Serenade is another one that I get this um, damp, uh, woods vibe like almost like you're standing on the shore right you know I, again much like Cape Heartache I get like this um, 
Pacific Northwest vibe from it. I don't know why, but I get this like fresh rain or rain getting ready to start in the Pacific Northwest, um, which I really, really dig. Now, this one is a little bit brighter. Um, definitely is leaning more towards um, a, a watery, uh, woodsy vibe. And um, whereas the strawberry and Cape Heartache, I think takes it into a sweeter um, dimension or sweeter um, uh, fragrance profile uh, for that matter. The um, beautiful thing with this is I really get that, that spruce and that eucalyptus um, and the vetiver just uh, straight up uh, right off the bat jump off of my skin. Now the notes um, further on from that, you're looking at uh, Danish spruce, eucalyptus, vetiver, Callan, I'm not, I'm not familiar with that one, um, ambergris, and the imaginary note of Baltic sea mist. So um, it is, uh, like I said, if you close your eyes, that's where it takes you. It really takes you to that um, very damp environment um, and is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Um, that will give you that vibe of uh, woods and sea and all of that. So um, again, absolutely gorgeous fragrance from them. And that is uh, Every Storm a Serenade. On to uh, Memoirs of a Trespasser. Memoirs of a Trespasser is definitely the one that I see the most uh, talk about. Um, and for good reason. This is a really good fragrance. The notes are listed as uh, Madagascar Vanilla. Uh, guayac wood, myrrh, benzoin resin, ambrette seeds, and an imaginary note of um, oak barrels. <sighs> Memoirs, that uh, Madagascar vanilla is just phenomenal. I get it in the myrrh, I think, right off the bat. Um, there's definitely a woods vibe that comes in, I think, in the mid. And, uh, and then I think that resinous uh, benzoin um, and mixes with that myrrh. The myrrh kind of stays uh, throughout a, a fair bit of the fragrance to me. Um, Memoirs of a Trespasser is absolutely gorgeous. I've gotten quite a few compliments with this one. Um, and uh, actually a couple of the other ones here have gotten great compliments. Um, so altogether, I think Imaginary Authors is a phenomenal house. Um, I've really enjoyed these eight that I've got here. I look forward to trying a few of the other ones. I think there's maybe four or five, maybe six fragrances that I haven't gone over um, or gotten to sample yet. Um, if they're anything like this line, I am 100% a go. I, I truly recommend that you guys go out and um, you seek out this short story collection as I've really enjoyed it. Again, I think Imaginary Authors has a way of putting you in a place, in a, in a story of their naming structure. I think in most of these, the name is such an accurate depiction of what you get from the fragrance. And that's something that I really, really appreciate. There are so few uh, perfumers and fragrance houses that are able to de deliver what Imaginary Authors does. Um, and also they do it rather affordably. It's not the, the cheapest thing in the world, but I think for what you get, the vibe you get, the beautiful artwork and the gorgeous bottles, um, performance on all of them is pretty good, except for uh, St. Julep on my skin. Unfortunately, I don't get as long as I'd like to with that fragrance, but I do absolutely love it. Um, $95 for a 50 mil or what you get from th this line um, you will certainly not uh, experience something that really paints a picture and tells the story that Imaginary Authors is able to deliver. So, do yourselves a favor, head over to crystalfragrance.com and seek out this short story collection. I can't remember now, it's been a couple months since I got it, but I want to say it's like 30, 35 bucks, maybe 40-ish, um, but do yourselves a favor, go over and pick this up and maybe even pick up the extra sample um, vials that I didn't pick up. I know there's Bull's Blood, I know there's Sun Drunk, um, Soft Lawn, I can't remember all of them, but uh, 
as I said, if they're anything like this uh, wine that I've got here in front of me, I really look forward to trying them. And I will actually be seeking those out. Um, I'm gonna be going on crystalfragrance.com to pick up those few that I haven't tried. So as always, I appreciate you guys coming here, um, getting to grow with me, getting to experience these uh, fragrances as I do, when I do. Um, while this one's been a bit delayed, I've had these for a couple months now, but um, I do uh, appreciate you guys stopping by. I hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you again in the future. We'll catch you next time.